Madam. It's Monica. Hello, yes. The Welcome Home Committee happens to be on crutches. <laughs> yes, Father told me. How in the world did you do that? Oh, well, I just tried to beat the elevator from the third floor to the lobby to catch up with the patient. And you broke your ankle? I broke the ankle and I, well, bruised the other foot. Well, I didn't expect to see you until later, but of course there's no reason for you to stay at the hospital after such a terrible fall. Of course there's a reason. I mean, I wouldn't have missed welcoming you home, darling. We'd missed you. <laughs> Nobody more than me. I can't tell you how dreadful the time has been without you. Up until you busted your ankle. To ask him if he would help carry me upstairs. Oh, no, not until I've talked to Romeo. Well, you're going to have to wait your turn, you see. I how does it feel to have the shoe on the other foot? I have a cast on my foot! Well, Alan's right about the secrets. Thanks for the tip, Monica. Forewarned is forearmed. Huh? Yeah. Here we go. I appreciate you coming by and telling me about this. You're more than welcome. Thank you. You need help at the elevator? Or? No, thank you. All right. I need help with a lot more things. Why have they mentioned the 12 million things? I've been waiting for that bomb to drop myself. I don't understand what we're trying to accomplish. Well, I'll answer that. I don't believe This that. is ridiculous. Now, for the life of me, I still haven't figured out what's going on here. and Why you want to get rid of Sean for all of his absentee management or his, his lack of leadership. All you've managed to do, and quite successfully, is leave us all a ship without a captain. Industries. Now, you take a look at these. If you have any questions, Alan and I will be happy to clarify. All right, now what? You heard the man Sean's gone. It's also called the Bums Rush. Well, who are going to do something about it? I damn well am. I don't anticipate any conflict between HTI and my medical practice. Uh, he has backup protection with HTI with me. Well, this is all very interesting. Like father, like son, huh? I can't believe your complacency. Are you just going to stand here and let Alan try to take over your job? Oh, come on, Monica. This whole meeting's a sham. I'll see them in court. <clears throat> I know that. Uh, will you do it, Monica? Will you accept my nomination? Yes, I will. I would like nothing more than to be president of HTI. Monica, you're a Florida man. I cannot believe that you would run against your own husband. You're a traitor. <laughs> Sean, did you put her up to this? No, Amanda's responsible for oh, that. Oh, really? Excuse me, ladies. I think we need a little strategy uh, committee here. Shutting the men out, are you? Mm. Oh, if you would like to volunteer. To... No, I guess what they say about pun. Alan. Yes. Ms. Cooper, would you have a... I appreciate your vote of confidence, Ella, but I understand the dilemma that you're in. I mean, Alan is your son. Now, I will understand if you feel obligated to... I'm sorry, dear, but I'm voting for Monica. As do I. Me too. Me. Mr. Whitney? <laughs> it's a tough... Sean, 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 wait a minute. Sean talk to you. Well, well, well. Isn't Madam President herself? Come on, Sean, I have to talk to you. You're the last one I want to talk to, Monica. I have to call Robert, tell him I'm be out of town. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? I don't understand. Hi. How are you feeling? Tired. Why? No bet. Come over and sit down, will you? What? Please, come over and sit down. I gotta tell you something, Monica. You're on your feet entirely too much, and if you don't start resting that foot, I'm telling you, it's never gonna get better. Alan, I don't have time to rest. I don't care. You as a doctor should know that you're gonna re-injure it if you don't rest it, and you're gonna be laid up for months then. 